The main idea behind the business partner is that we only have one central master record that actually, as you know, we can use for both customers and vendors. But uh, we still have a, a need, and this need comes even from previous releases, to just classify our customers and our vendors. And if you have some, maybe some experience uh, in the previous releases, you have been using the CP system for, for a while now, now for some years, um, you probably are familiar with the concept of account groups, uh, both for customers and account groups also for vendors. But that's the point. Um, now we have this uh, central master record, which is the business partner, and we need to have a, a way to... to have a link uh, to these account groups because the account groups, they haven't disappeared. We still have them available, of course, and we will still use them uh, as always just to classify. But then again, we need to have a connection uh, again with the business partner and these groups. So in this lesson, we want to show you how uh, we can accomplish that in the customizing. So here, let's open um, cross application components. But now it's going to be different. Uh, we won't open the SAP Business Partner. We will go to Master Data Synchronization, the uh, Master Data Sync. And here we have uh, what we call the Customer Vendor Integration. Also, this is uh, in some websites, in some uh, documentation from SAP, you will just find CBI. But again, it stands for Customer Vendor Integration. So well, let's open that one. Let's open Business Partner Settings. Here we have a uh, settings um, for customer integration right now. Well, we also have for the vendor there, but right now for the time being, let's open for customer. So this section here, here we will open the field assignment um, for customer integration. And well, we have uh, these uh, other sub notes. Let's open assign keys because right now what we want to show is this one, define number assignment for the direction of business partner to the customer. So well, let's start this one. And well, as we said in the previous lesson, we also want you to focus on the grouping uh, here, uh, specifically the grouping B BP02, just because this is like the, the central object we will use for our uh, examples. And as you can see, uh, here is where we, uh, we can build this link between the account groups and the a grouping uh, that we have for the business partner. So just for the individual business partner, we have the concept of the grouping. And for our customers, we have different account groups, as you can see here. And uh, here we are linking to the BP02 grouping, the TC12 uh, account group. So well, this is going to be important later when we just create the, the master record, you will, uh, you will see uh, the reason behind the creation of the customer in this uh, TC12 account group, just because we selected the grouping, the BP02. And of course, the other really important uh, customizing setting here is this one, the same numbering, in which if we uh, select this checkbox, that just means that the ID, uh, when we create the, the business partner, the system will assign a, 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 an ID number, just the, the next available number if it's internal numbering, to the business partner master record. So if we select this, uh, the, the, then we're saying that we want the same ID for our uh, master record in this scenario of customers, because it's also similar for vendors, but in this scenario for customers. And uh, it also has some consequences, of, of course, even in the uh, number range, we need to set them up uh, with the same lower uh, uh, limit and upper limit for the range. So that is something we will also check in some of the coming slides uh, and, and in the coming lessons, sorry. But well, uh, for the time being, the most important thing is just three these three things. And the fact that the BP02 uh, grouping has the TC12 account group a uh, link to it. So well, with this, let me just uh, finish the lesson. And of course, we want you to um, keep learning with all of the coming uh, lessons. And just a quick reminder, just please uh, write to our email address, 123learnsap at gmail.com, because there we are constantly checking for all of your doubts, all of your uh, comments, uh, even uh, 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 if, you, if it's just a, a general uh, recommendation or maybe it's something you want to learn a bit more, just uh, drop a line there to us, uh, write an email, and we will uh, 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 just answer ASAP. Thank you so much.